justice for Mubad is would only be achieved when women who they regard as their prime number one number one prime suspects is jailed. That is justice for Mubad to them. Anything else apart from that, they don't want to know. Um, if you ask the likes of um, Baba, what is justice for Mubad? Uh, Baba Mubad first of all, has sought closure by burying his son. He has, um, he believes justice for Mubad is seeking public funds in helping his personal life goals. Seeking donations, bringing up conspiracies, and logging, um, bringing heads together that um, if I can't get money from you, I'm going to lock your heads with another, and I'm not going to say anything about it. That is justice for Mubad. Uh, for for juicy to me this is my opinion now if you ask the likes of mama mobad um from the recent stuffs what i see is that uh justice for mobad is go and bury my son um um those uh, he told me he was fighting some people you people should um uh, they should be questioned um i need to open a shop you guys have to donate for me and um Yes, I believe uh, this is my grandson, but with me, anytime I hear anything bad about you, I will come outside and curse you. Um, um, if you believe, if you now ask the likes of King White, what is justice for Mubad? I, I, I believe, my own opinion is justice for Mubad to someone like King White is a uh, all the family members, whether they are fighting or not, whether they are cursing each other or not, to so come together as one, then they should go and be fighting those that bullied um, Mobad during his lifetime. Now, we can see that everybody has different perspectives, different, um, different ways they see the justice system. And these objectives, no two companies can have the same objectives. No two companies, even MCN and Airtel in Nigeria, they don't have the same objectives for telecommunications. You can have um, 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 margarine and butter. Fine, they can be used to as a bread spread, but they would taste differently. That is, um, that is something about... Um, objectives of everybody in the justice system and some people justice for mobad is for them to be to just be keyboard warriors to make fools of themselves to go on panels to talk idiotic minds to to donate that is justice for mobad but that, to donate and to spread lies spread nourish narrations and to make money out of justice for mobile that is their own objective how can i make money from this thing that is justice for mobile for them now um i was reading some some books i won't mention the name um it, it, it was said that there are three c's to peace and war one is consultation one is consolidation and one is confrontation. There are stages in making peace or stages of starting a war. Because peace and war are brothers. Now, in this case, we are in the confrontation stage. Confrontation is that if you bring it, you will take it. That is a shanos loud. We know the agree again. We have passed through the stage of um, consultation we have passed through that stage that we are consulting people like oh um, what really happened we are, we are asking questions what really happened then we are trying to consolidate is that we are trying to debunk trying to see if bring other people's minds at rest like okay um let us consolidate our ideas oh, this thing never happened stop saying it's happened we're debunking everything and now that we have finished debunking, we don't want to debunk again. We are now in the confrontation stage. That if you bring it, we are not debunking. No. If you bring it, you collect with auto. That is the stage we are. And King White does not want to believe the three C's. His own is just to consolidate. He doesn't want to even consult whether what you are saying is true or not. 
uh, no, he, uh, yeah, he's, he's just in the consolidation. Now, that is where I'm having issues with him. Somebody hates her sister. Somebody hates her mother. You don't believe what last don't last don't uh, is saying. You don't accept it. You don't support it. Yet, and this person wishes evil with someone that you think is innocent of a crime. You know, not even you think, that you know is innocent of a crime. Yet, you want the two parties to be at unity. No, it is not possible. There are stages to peace. And peace does not really mean that you people have to be friends or you have to be allies. That is not peace. Sometimes you have to make peace that you guys will go separate ways and you are going to burn the bridges and only wave to each other from different Subomi. Adiola, please, can you please mute? I'll soon be done, please. Subomi, Adiola, please, can you mute yourself, please? Thank you. Now, when you burn the bridges, look at something. In a peace treaty, it doesn't mean that both of you are allies of each other. When I say allies, bosom friends, or you share secrets, or you are now confident of each other, no, that is not, you can't make peace like that. Sometimes, during peace, peace treaties, both parties will burn the bridge between them, that there is nothing of like communication between us. I'll stay at my own side of the bridge. You say, stay at your own side of the bridge. And it is only when I come to that edge, I'm just going to wave at you. Bao nyo, karo, and that is all. But King White does not want to believe this. You believe you can be a bridge to everything which is not so. And you will be found wanting in so many things. This is something King White does not know. You would be found wanting. Whether you were somewhere, because I was listening to this conversation, whether you were somewhere, you were trying to make peace, you now turn to your back camera for somebody abroad who is causing on somebody to see that Womi is there. It shows that this person, what were you trying to do? We will may want to be by you. No, what's we? What's the sense around it? You came here yesterday. Some people, while you were there, some people were calling mama names. You said, Ah, eh, but obi mama, eh, but obu mama she jumio, eh, but obu mama she ju. Mole sini bi tompu mama. In your presence now, you went to Karimo's presence. And she was saying, Ashana, Ashana, Ashana. Why didn't you stop her? You knew who she was calling Ashana. And you were completing your statements referring to the lady by name. You were, re because you knew who she was calling Ashana, you couldn't stop her. Is that not hypocrisy? That is why I said, you can't be a peacemaker or try to be the bridge among warring parties without you feeling the, the heat of the war. You can't, you can't just do it. You know who she's calling Ashana. You were seated there and you are saying, ah, eh, you were referring to the Ashana by name. She, she was referring with an adjective. And you were here. People refer to Mama as something. You said, no, Emma, Emma, be Mama Bell, Emma, be Mo, the drone, be that, but Mama, you should stop it. Can you call, can you call? And our moderators told people that, please, don't let us go there. I think um, it was when, um, who was speaking then? That was, that was, um, um, the person was speaking with so much. Olo Jaiwa. Olo Jaiwa was speaking with so much passion that day and we quickly quietened her like and she calmed down she stopped it but you were with Karimo and she, he was referring to Ashana so when when see when the bible says blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the sons of God ah I'm sorry you for Jesus to have referenced that it shows that it is a very difficult task to do, to be a peacemaker. Because if Jesus could have said, hmm, it is easy for a camel to pass through the needle's eye for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. It shows that for him to even be referencing peacemakers, 
in a sermon and it was a sermon that was even referenced in the bible he chose that this task of being a peacemaker and being a son of god is a very difficult task in another place in romans chapter he said those who walk in the in the paths of god they shall be called the sons of god i'm sorry you said you are walking in the paths of god are you a muslim or a traditionalist that's a personal question i don't even need an answer to it I don't need an answer to it. Your, your eternal life, your, your journey for eternal life is dependent on you. It's your choice, not me. But the thing here is this. King White, you need to realize something. The objectives of how we perceive justice from the bad is different from yours. If we are saying our own justice from the bad is no victimization, no threatening, no bullying of a widow. But you are supporting people that bully widows and you are trying to unify them with the widow. It can't work on our own cause. It can never work. It can't work. You have a different mindset. We have a different mindset. If mama should bully women, we will call for mama. If mama should bully women, we'll come for mama. If our dad does it, we'll come for him. If blessing does it, we'll come for him. Why do you think we are coming for that uh, for Baba? Because of his first statement, I hate her. <laughs> it is because of his first statement, I hate her. If somebody is telling you I hate him, you, well, why, you, you can't unify in your lesson. I hate you. Because I'm a unifying me, but you know. If a husband and wife goes to the altar, the pastor or the, the man must see uh, the, the, the pastor doing the marriage ceremony, must see that there's love between both parties. But if the husband, okay, what is your wedding vow? Wani, uh, to be, uh, for better, for worse. No, Wani, mm -mm, I hate her. Do you think the pastor is going to unify both husband and wife? No. So you can't do something when we know the obvious, when we know the obvious. We know the obvious. This family, there is issue in the family. That's one question I'm asking King White. Are you the Olori Ebi of the Aloba Kingdom? Or Aloba, Abi e wambe bati wo mi ati ati mba di ferao. Le wan try la ati resolve i shoroto ani no Ebi ogumba yo Abi kimi ati i shoroto ani no Aloba. She fe so baba ati mama pakboni. I be in the body to 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 finish the wedding for. These are things that you have to sit down and ask yourself: Is this thing even realistic? Is it realistic? The only realistic thing I can say here is that you, the circle around Mama, break it. And we, I've told you that, that let mama dissociate herself from liars don't lie. And even while you were talking, you can't even mention liars don't last name. You can't. You can't mention it, that she's at fault somewhere. You can't mention it. Are you scared or you know that she was listening to you? You can't talk to her. If you are failing to speak the truth, you are a failed peacemaker. If you are scared to say the truth, to anybody, you are not a peacemaker. A peacemaker would say the truth regardless of whatever situation he or she is. Let the other person know his or her fault. Did you go to Karimo's thing to pat her on the back or to tell her that Karimo ko, ko, oh, len ulati ma buye. Have you said that on your program ever? You say you are doing it privately. It is not the fight between Wumi and Kenny. If you eh, she so fun carry more ipe ipe to one chef who is a lori Kenny. She Muslim in a big Christian who does it. You should stop it. Have you said that publicly? If you can't say the truth, you are a failed peacemaker. It can't work. You are trying to. To, to put a blind eye at the obvious and trying to only stick to peace. It is very impossible. That is why I said there are three C's to, to peace or three C's to war. 
consultation, consolidation, and confrontation. Have you consulted Karimo for her to tell you everything happening? Do you have information of everything happening around Karimo? If you do, you will go to the next step of consolidation. Consolidation is that you call the mom of Karimo, call the call Karimo, oh yeah, face each other and say to this thing. Have you done that? Not coming to social media to be telling people not to abuse Karimo for abusing her mom. It can't work. That's, the, that's why I told you, I sent it to you back. If you have applied wisdom, you would have known what I was telling you. Go and meet the family. Let us see signs in the family that there is unity before you come and meet the public. That is when they are not abusing themselves anymore. That is when the public will say that I am stupid to even be abusing Karimon. When Karimon now on her social media comes up and say, ah, and yeah, yeah. Moti she so long, moti she saye, moti she si biti ma so si. I have, I have sinned, and and I know there's punishment waiting for me in my grave, and even my eternal life is questionable. Toba ja de toba sorry, eje ba ambe ya mi. Ah, niko be wo mi o eba eje eba ambe ya mi ti o o she mi o but oro be ya she o mo. Social media. If you had done that, advise her, consolidated both parties. And if it is Mama, like you said you did, Mama and Omi, you tried to settle whatever that is happening between them. No problem. That is also a step of consolidation. Has it happened to Karima? Have you called liars don't lie? and called mama and in their presence tell liars don't lie that all these things you've been telling mama you've just been putting her in situations of dragging you have been lying to her sending her false information did you do that three you said it was not your wife that was on that voice note have you also called your wife's attention that at no point because that picture was that of your wife. Must I even see you on social media attacking anybody? Whether you are saying good thing or bad thing, that is an area of consolidation. You are going to bring both parties. If she claims it was her, beg woman, apologize, and tell her to stop all activities. This is what you call consolidation. That is how to be a peacemaker. Not that you now block all these people. You are not going to tell them the truth. Tell them the fault of their actions. And now say, oh, yeah, well, me, be, yeah, okay. No! You don't have to put uh, turn a blind eye to all these things and think peace will reign. It won't. You are only adding petrol to the fire. You are only adding petrol to the fire. And me, I will not say something behind you. King White, error ma soro. King White, error ma soro. Because there are some things that I don't know whether you do it unconsciously. That you are trying to put the other party under the bus. You might not know. Karima said something yesterday. Uh, Boyo Bagbeni, the capital, the state of Meduguri is not Benue. The state of Meduguri is Bono. Hmm? Benue is Makodi. So, um, where you got the information that Dawa class stays in Benue state is wrong. Meduguri, Meduguri, and that's in Bono. Hmm? So, uh, I wonder what you are teaching your children, Karimo. States and capital, fine, they are not in the US. Let them concentrate. You want to be Nigeria. How come you don't know state and capital? Eh? You don't know that the states of Meduguri is Bono and not Benue. Eh? Oh, she, 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 oh, she,
King White, emi ma bere lowo yin publicly ma fi bere. Maybe your life, you should answer it. Karima was mentioning a conference. Owa ni e yini dawa class yi ba loli, e jow. The only conference I know that they've ever done is that of the Sahara reporters. Was that our class there? Was that our class there? Now, who gave her a glimpse that our class might be attending for her? I have the video recording of her saying that statement, but I'm not going to play it here until if you make reference to it or you think I am lying, but it's just a question. Who told her that our class might be attending the conference? Because my attendance was just in a small circle. I'm at Dukbeo. That my location is only known by a, as a very few individuals. Very, very few confidants. For Karimo to have mentioned that, I wonder how much she knows. But, of course, she does not even know whether I attended or not. She thought I was there. These are the little things I'll just advise you. The way you, it's, it's, it might be that, Echo, you are just this free person. That's, that's what I said you are. You are this free person. You, you want peace in every place. But it is not possible. It is not possible. If God who abides in an unimaginable light, that's in the book of Timothy, that God who abides in unimaginable light also knew that there will be devil. For God to create devil means that he also knows that human beings who he has created would also associate themselves with evil. Because you put on white from head to toe doesn't mean there's no black color, King White. King White, because you put on white color, maybe you like the white color, doesn't mean there is no black color. So don't think there is, uh, everything has to be peaceful. If everything is peaceful, there will be, the, the word war would not be in the dictionary. If you go and read your Genesis, it says that God created everything and he said they were all good. Genesis chapter 1. After the seventh day, he said he rested and everything was good. But don't forget that the tree of good and evil was planted in the middle of the Garden of Eden. In the goodness he did, there was also a tree of evil there, of good and evil. So don't think that there can be peace everywhere. It is impossible. It is impossible. There are some peaceful nations that the crime rate in a year, what a man needs you, there are some countries that I've heard, say Finland, near the Iceland, that the crime rate is so low that they don't even have a prison. I've forgotten the country, that there's no, uh, there's no police station, uh, there's a police station, but there is no prison there. Norway, thank you. But that also means they don't commit crime. King White, your objectives are not aligning with ours. That is something you should know. Your objectives of peace everywhere cannot align with say no to the bullying of a widow and stop the threat to the life of Liam and let us know the cause of death of Mobad. One question I'm always asking you in your life, Kilokba Mobad, what died Mobad? She ba mati sofu She kari mati sofu 
she who me ti je wo fun yin awon te ti ba soro so ti so fun yin you said that that's a funny question by our class you will be logging this journey kiniko kiniko but the answer to the question was just like you have mixed with everybody you have mixed with school regzi you have Gregs's number, you have mixed with Arifa, you've mixed with uh, Yeye Kudi, you've mixed with Darosha, you've mixed with Wumi, you've mixed with Mama Mubad. Have you gotten any sign whatsoever that anybody, because the only thing, to me now, the only thing that can give us justice is a confession from someone. A confession. Because there is no evidence. There is no concrete evidence that this is who by the Mubad, except there is a confession. You've mixed with Adra. Adra was there throughout. He went to both hospitals. In your DP, has he, we see him going out with you up and down. Has Adra ever told you what by the Mubad? If no, let them move on with their lives. But they must not bully women. They must not threaten Liam. That is our own objective. It is not about unifying the family. If the family wants to be unified, unified, that is the pro. That is their problem. That is the issue of the Olori B. That is the issue. Uh, this this issue of the unification. At the sort of place, and it's about fair unifying Iru oba oba ikorodu can help them do that. To oba ni olori ebi. Oba ikorodu le ishe fun because ikorodu no ngbe. Oba ikiti. Eh ikere ikiti o le ishe fun. Not you, not we are, you are too small to do it. Because this thing is 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 something that involves two families, two families from one from Ijebu, one from Ikere Ikiti. Another one from Ekwe, sorry. It is not you. What concerns you is justice for Mubad. What fight Mubad? What fight Mubad? Nkoto kon wa ni yen. Konse oro unification. Ejo ma binu yin mommies and daddies me. I've taken so much time because this thing I've been thinking about it all day. Like with am I fighting the same battle with King White? At that thing, I've been thinking about it like with a new rule. I'd be King White to as a platform to do what they are questioning him for what he's not having the same objective as me. He's not. So, am I trying to unify my objectives with his? No, it can't work because he is supporting and he's friends with people bullying the widow, people threatening the life of Liam. So, why should I? have aligned my own thoughts and my own objectives and my own goals with his. It can't work. There are two contrasting things. Pedro, my talk, I might be right. These are just my own opinions. They are just my own opinions. So it is not like a conclusion to, for everybody. King White is a friend to everybody. I'm not telling anybody to hate on him. I'm only telling you the difference of my own idea with his. I'm not trying to put him under the bus for dragging. I'm only telling you that my own fight is different from his. My own struggle in the justice for Mubad is different from his. And that is where um, there's a line 18 line, not a very, it's just 18 line between us. Thank you very much for listening. I have to mute now. Thank you very much.